Hi, today I'm going to show you how I made this concrete clock. What you'll need A round silicon mould Rubber gloves Concrete, I'm using Cemental Rapid Set Tap water Something to block the concrete in the centre of your mould I'm using an old thread reel a container and mixing tool to mix your concrete in Acrylic paints if you decide to do an acrylic pour like I have Masking tape Resin I'm using Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin store And if you use my code and link below, you can save 20% off your online purchase A blowtorch or heat gun Something non-stick to measure and mix your resin with Non-stick sheeting, such as parchment paper Something non-stick to stand your clock on A sharp knife or cutting tool Paint brushes A top coat varnish And a clock mechanism kit First of all Glue your reel to the centre of your silicon mould. Hold in place for a few seconds to allow the glue to set. Then set aside your silicon mould for later. For the 9 inch circular mould that I'm using, I add in approximately two and a half cups of concrete. Add small amounts of water bit by bit and mix thoroughly until the mixture is smooth. This is roughly a four part concrete, one part water ratio. Prod your mixer around the base to make sure you get rid of any little lumps. Bring back your silicon mould and carefully pour in the concrete mix. From mixing to pouring, allow no more than 5 minutes, as this mix does set very fast. Make sure you scrape all the sides and get every last drop in. With the end of your mixing tool, spread the mixture so that it covers the entire base of the mould. Then to get rid of the lumps and uneven surface, give it a shake. Using this product, allow the mixture to dry for at least two hours. When the concrete is set and fully dry, twist your blocker until it becomes loose, then gently pull it out. Now gently peel your silicon mould away from the concrete. It's now time to decorate your clock. If you would also like to do an acrylic pour, Click on the link in the description below for a step-by-step -step tutorial on my acrylic pour mix. The colours I used are bright magenta, tropic orange, barn red and rose gold. Cover the hole in the middle of your clock with a small piece of masking tape. This will enable the paint to spread across the clock evenly without falling through. Once you've fully covered your clock base, remember to remove the little piece of masking tape. Then allow to dry for at least two days. When your clock base is fully dry, it's time to mix your resin. Add one part resin to one part hardener and always do it this way round. Thank you. 
I always pour both parts straight into my plastic jug. This way, once I've used my resin for a project, I allow the remains to set overnight and simply peel it all out the next morning. This way, no plastic cups are wasted. Mix well for at least five minutes, scraping all the sides and bottom to make sure both ingredients are fully combined. About three quarters of a cup of resin will be plenty to cover your clock base. Now set out your parchment paper and plastic cup, balancing your clock on top. Pour your resin mix around the clock base, avoiding the hole in the middle, as you don't want to waste any. Spread the resin evenly around the clock base. Again, try not to waste any by pushing it off the side. Once the base is covered, use your spatula to coat the edges. Take your blowtorch and now pop those surface bubbles. Allow the resin to set overnight. Once the resin is fully set, it's time to neaten up the back. I get rid of these drips of resin by heating them up with my blowtorch and then gently scraping them off with a sharp knife. Once you've removed the drips of resin, it's time to paint the back. I use one of the colours from my acrylic pour to tie it all in nicely. Apply a couple of coats and allow to dry. I now add a varnish to protect any walls or surfaces from the painted side. Now allow to dry. All that's left to do is now add your clock mechanism. Follow the instructions on the pack for your particular mechanism on how to assemble. And that's it. That's how I make my concrete clocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions at all, please add them below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next week.